Dari, hello from the cave where uh, my assistant and I are going to give you a review of the daylight running solution for bicycle, not black, but green. So, as you all know, this is my primary road bicycle. It's been off the road for a while due to uh, wheel injury. All that's fixed, and now I'm trying to incorporate a proper daytime running light solution and this is engineering solution one which I was kind of really hopeful for but as you're going to find out it hasn't quite worked out so I bought from uh, Sigma Sports a mount that enables you to have something on the end of your track on bars so if you can see that basically we've got a triathlon bars here and then this cross bridge here um, is something on which you could typically mount a watch because without this bracket that I put on you can just put a watch around this circular point now it is circular uh, but there was a hole through the middle of it so I thought I know what I'm going to do I'm going to take a Garmin mount and screw it through here through the hole to the bottom um, so I don't have many spare screws and nuts and stuff like that um, since our last house move. Anyway, I did manage to find a single computer screw and eventually managed to screw it in there. Then of course the Garmin mount wouldn't fit on top because this screw is uh, kind of obstructing it. So with a bit of filing I've managed it and the result is that the Garmin mount does now house a unit. It houses the fabric in the box this is the box for, the, for this pancake light. It's called a Fabric Loom, Luma Ray version 2 lamp. And it's a relatively low light, at 60 or 70 lumen light, which sits on the front of your bicycle. And it's a constant light. There's also flashing modes, of course. But I like it to be a constant light, just like, like for a car. So, I'm going to stick that on. Yes, maybe. Hang on. And so you'll see that's now attached to the front of the uh, bicycle. Now, the, 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 the drawbacks are the following. This has got a screw hole on it, so I can't adjust the horizontal or vertical plane of this Garmin mount. So it is what it is. Um, and therefore, it, it rests actually pretty flat, which is great for this front, front light, but it's absolutely terrible for at the, uh, the position of the Garmin computer. So if you trundle round to the side, let's see if we can show that, you can see that there's the actual position of the Garmin computer on the side profile. And if you look down here, if you look at the cockpit, you'll see that the the actual lamp is good, but the Garmin mount sitting exactly parallel on top of it is almost flat. So I would actually like the actual Garmin unit to be much more like this than this. Uh, but it can't be. So, hmm, I really think it's a miss. I, I really thought this would be the actual solution. But because of the angle of the, of the Garmin unit being very flat and not like this, uh, I don't think it's going to fly. But that also brings into mind the fact that if I'm to use this... Lumero device, it's always going to be parallel unless I can somehow mount the Lumero on the bottom at one angle and the Garmin on the top at, the, at a different angle. So that's in a way the kind of solution I could have with the other rubber mounted bracket and that's the one I'm going to focus on for version 2 of the solution and let's see if that fares better. Okay so it's close but no cigar. Thanks for watching.